Hello and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. If you're truly loaded, as you just imagine, it is time to conclude our business in the big empty. We're heading back to the sink and we're gonna show him what's what. Um, I. Wait. I'm not sure. Are we actually moving faster when we're crouched? I think we might actually be moving faster when we're crouched. But in that case, let's just stay hidden. Hey. But I'm not sure. It might just appear that we're moving faster. Me. Alright. I've seen better weather. It should, it should be fine. Let's just go to the sink balcony and let's go reinstall my bits. I like my bits. You require some additional services? Yep. And rightly so, I should think. Swap by the parts. Place your heart back in your chest. Yes. I think I like that better. I looked at the stats on the internet and I think I want every part of my body back. So, thanks for the spine. Awesome. Where's my brain at? I suppose we have to go in here? Yeah, I'm, I think I'm prepared. I have an axe. What more do I require? Hello. The lobotomite returns. Our lobotomite. Has Dr. Mobius been denominated into scrap metal and voice module parts as we hoped? You may have noticed the pacification field is down. Guess what happens now? A fight? I, I've never been in a fight. What, uh, what, what, what do I... Ah, colleagues! Think tank! Alert! Alert! We are under attack! I just can't leave them alive if I killed Mobius, because Mobius was the cool one. What is... <laughs> Okay, they die just so easily, it's kind of funny. Oh, that's eight. If we had left zero alive, that would be cool. Well, that's unfortunate, but I think it's sort of necessary. We couldn't have just let them wander around. They could have done terrible things. They just aren't. <laughs> yeah, you better have a speech book. Why would you have a speech book? You can't even speak. That's probably why you have a speech book. Oh well. Aren't you in the. Oh, well. Apparently, it did a fair bit more damage than I expected to do. Oh well, okay, where do we go to actually fix the thing? Wait, big mountain and the sink. What's our current objectives then? Leave the think tank. As it had been in the years before the Great War, Big Mountain, the Big Empty, became home to one of the brightest minds of the 23rd century. The courier watched over the Big Empty for years to come, caring for it and keeping its discoveries safe until they were needed to help others, which had always been Big Mountain's purpose. Past the laboratories and science, it had always been intended as a place to build the future of all mankind. The courier had scoured much of the big empty, although secrets still remained in the crater's depths. Perhaps that was for the best, however. Curiosity, while sometimes rewarded for its efforts, often proves to be equally dangerous. The Forbidden Zone continued to be, true to its name, 
Forbidden. No more robo-scorpions were sighted in its canyons. Big Mountain became even emptier, devoid of Dr. Mobius's proclamations forecasting the destruction of anything that dared possess sentience. Still, it is said he lived on in the equations inscribed on the floor and walls of the Forbidden Zone dome a cobweb tracery of symbols that told of a thousand brilliant thoughts, now lost to time. The sink atop the dome bustled with the voices of a small town, constantly chirping, arguing, and snarling at each other. Still, this all happened productively in the interests of its new owner. The sink Central Intelligence Unit discovered, despite its inversion code, it was comforted by the sense of community the other personalities gave it. The biological research station, obsessed with seeding everything in sight, requested a transfer to the X-22 Botanical Garden, so that it might, in its own words, sensually fertilize the garden's smoothed contours. The garden sent back a polite refusal, saying it had prior commitments with a vault it had helped infect before the war. The book shoot continued to devour all seditious materials until it nearly choked on a paperclip. It adamantly maintained it was a Chinese paperclip, and the whole thing had been an elaborately orchestrated assassination attempt. I can believe that. Whatever the reason, it slowed down for a while, carefully appraising each document and clipboard that came to it. The light switches continued to bicker and flicker. This persisted until the day someone dropped a flashlight in the sink, and the two of them united in their hatred of the showboat. The sink continued to ruthlessly scrub any particulate matter that came near it. Eventually, it gained access to the magnetohydraulics plant and nearly flooded all the big empty in an attempt to scrub the crater clean. Once it learned of the innovative toxins plant, however, it gained new purpose. It sought to develop antitoxins to flush into its drains and counteract the poisons bleeding into the soil. The toaster continued its psychotic spree, reducing all appliances in range to scrap electronics and spare parts. Go toaster! After one of its more psychotic episodes, however, the other sink personalities decided enough was enough and dumped the toaster in a bathtub. No! Sparking and hissing, the toaster swore its enemies would rue the day when they had bread and no way to toast it. Muggy did his best to collect coffee cups, although in his quest, he accidentally trapped himself in Higgs Village. It might have been the end for poor Muggy, except he found it peaceful there tidying up the kitchens of the think tank professors back when they had been flesh and bone. Well, except for Dr. O, who was an asshole for having created Muggy in the first place. Muggy left O's house deliberately dirty, punishing the dishes and cups that lived there in blind revenge for serving Dr. O. Blind I O Jefferson eventually discovered a new sound. Silence. It only made him more filled with the blues than before. It was rumored by the other personalities that he had a brief fling with the light switches. Oh Although he forgot their names once too often and was soon left in the dark as punishment. Autodoc, always gentle and methodical, kept sewing up the courier in all the right places when the skin split open from repeated wear and tear. The Autodoc was just glad to have purpose again. It heard its simpler brothers and sisters who got shipped to the Sierra Madre were bored out of their skulls in that toxic dead city. In time, the Autodoc found a way to deactivate the Y-17 trauma harnesses releasing the corpses they had held prisoner for almost 200 years. As the courier ran through the X-8 facility multiple times, the computers analyzed the test subject's movements. Rather than performing a superficial observation, 
they realized the subject barely knew what communism was, or even what a high school was. This confused them for a time, until the facility finally realized that its research had succeeded. So it let its cyber dogs out into the wastes to help protect small communities from physical aggression rather than communist propaganda. The infiltration program in X-13 felt spent, having repeatedly upgraded the stealth suit until it could upgrade it no more. It felt warm, fulfilled, and a bit sluggish. It realized not long after the stealth suit had left it without so much as a note on the nightstand. So the infiltration program sent out robo-brains into the wastes, looking for its wayward technology. It eventually found Repcon HQ and set up a new research center, testing and murdering fiends who kept breaking into the facility. The courier, organs intact, continued onwards, a little less heavy of step, but with all the organs in the right places, as they should be. After all, brains can develop a life of their own when left to their own thoughts, and the courier's brain was more clever than most. The think tank basement, filled with lobotomized robotical frames of the doctors, now served as a graveyard. The monitors had recorded the battle in its entirety, including the think tank's final shrill, terrified screams, whimpers, and pleas for mercy. They broadcast these humiliating last moments as a warning to anyone approaching the perimeter that other smarty pants were not welcome. The courier was the inheritor of the big empty, and there was room for only one will in the halls of the think tank dome. There is an expression in the wasteland, old world blues. It refers to those so obsessed with the past they can't see the present, much less the future, for what it is. They stare into the what was, eyes like pilot lights, guttering and spent as the realities of their world continue on around them. Science is a long, steady progression into the future. What may seem a sudden event often isn't felt for years, even centuries to come. In the times following the Second Battle of Hoover Dam, however, Old World Blues took on a new meaning. Where once it was viewed as a form of sadness, nostalgia, it became an expression describing the potential for the future. It can be easy to see science as evil, technology unchecked as the source of all ills, all misfortunes. With the courier at the helm, science became a beacon for the future. There was old world blues, and new world hope, and hope ruled the day at Big Mountain. We could say more. But the stories in the Big Empty speak for themselves. Now armed with the Transportal Ponder, the Courier could return to the Dome at any time and crack open the secrets of the Big Empty one by one. The Sink sat vigilant, waiting for its master to return, shoes covered in Mojave dust. Only one road yet remained, and it was one the Courier had to walk alone. Oh well. Right then. Yeah, the PSD guys are happy for me. That's good news. Hey. Might I be safe in the assumption that matters with the think tank have been satisfactorily concluded vis-a-vis -vis your residence in this domicile? Uh, can you repair some stuff? Very good, sir. I don't know what I want repaired. You know, I repair my stuff so I can sell you some stuff. That always seems to work. I could have used something else for that. Oh well. And then I'll sell some stuff. Alright, I'll take this deal. And I will... I got a super rare Mojave snow globe here. Oh, yeah. All you 
Where did these food talkers come from? Those food talkers appear to be relatively new since they have absolutely nothing in them. I mean, they actually have things in them. I guess the brain is the only thing I can't switch out at will. Okay, I suppose that's fine. How do you get out of here? Oh my. Uh, that's some light show. Do I use the teleportator radiator? Don't tell me it's a weapon. Yes, it is. God damn. I specifically asked not to be told that it's a weapon. Okay, now we are gonna return to the obvious spot, of course. Of course. You know, first things first. All that stuff. We can head to the new Makers Medical Clinic. Wait, what? I didn't expect that to be the obvious solution, but okay. Hello, Doc. You're back. And what do you have for sale? Alright, I'll take this deal. Thank you. And now I want to buy an implant. Let's right. go. Uh, to start off, I think... The regenerating generator. That's the Phoenix Monocyte Breeder. The implant speeds up cell regeneration, an effect similar to that of some lizards and sea creatures. The implant is very expensive, however. 12,000 caps. Expensive from Menchu. Have a seat in the auto dock. This will take a few hours. Thank you. You're back. Yes. Implant. Subthermal. That would be the Nemian subdermal armor. It's a bit pricey, 8,000 caps, but the implant causes your skin cells to be bolstered with iron. It won't make you bulletproof, but it will make you a little harder to injure. Thank you. Have a seat in the auto. Me. Do you have anything more? You're back. All right. I'm afraid. No. All right. Oh, uh, no, you don't get anything else from there. See ya. I think the next place to check out is the gun fellows. Yeah. Oh, great. Now we can have a storm. This is something I did not miss at all while I was in the big empty. At all. Even the rain was a little bit much for me. Hello. Welcome, sir or ma'am. Yes, let's get it. let's get it at it. Right at it. Alright, this is due for the deal right now. Thank you. Goodbye. Thanks for the deal. Goodbye. Another satisfied custom. Thank This thing has some money for me. Excellent. Still back there. But where does it work for the right side? There. Okay, thanks for the money and goodbye. The next thing... We're here all alone. For spatula, a spork, and some scripture. Huh. Do they really only have one spatula? They're disappointed now. Yeah. I am. Alright, time to toss some weapons. The layer. Fido. The Inversal Axe. The Saturnite Fist. Sonic emitter. That gun. And then ten. Those get to be left behind for now. In this place. And the wardrobe. The three radi oscillator. Gloves and scrubs. So the gloves are technically weapons. I'm still gonna put them in the wardrobe because fuck that shit. Scrubs. The stealth suit. And these two I can sell to the lady. Down somewhere. Alright, this is not number three, and Poser is not number four, but that's basically all we currently have. So this is going on number one, this is going on number five. Because I missed my grenade drive launcher. 
But I think I'll call it... Wait, no. We're gonna do one more step and then I'm gonna call it there. After which we will learn to make our way into the divide. I don't remember the exact way there, but I think it was crowded before when I tried to go that way. Yeah. It's night time and Gibson doesn't close her house. So come on, get up. I got stuff to shell. So you're back. Now, where did we leave off? California. Happy to do it. Wait. I'm not sure we actually left off in California. Okay, there you go, you can have those and I'm leaving. Bye. Another satisfied cus take. And before we finish things off. Here it is. I apparently forgot a small fa wait, no, this is the wrong thing. God damn it. Well, we can recycle this stuff anyway. We keep forgetting about the fact that I've been picking up all of this shite. So apparently not as much of some of it as I've collected of the other stuff. But it just might be that the uh, different cells have a different rate of what we can actually recycle. Alright. But I actually want to go somewhere where I can get something I actually want. You know? Let's check out... Was there anything in Good Springs? I don't remember. But this is the sort of place where, from which we can actually walk to places. Does the saloon have what we seek? No. Hello, Chan. I hear the NCR and the Kings have been getting along. That's good news for Freeside. It is. Right, it was outside somewhere. Here we go. Workbench and reloading bench, which is exactly what I wanted. Make me some 300 aids. Hell, you can even break down these. Uh, maybe even break down the special ammo for that? Or is that not something I can do? Huh. Well, at least we broke down those so we can make more 300 aids. Cool. That actually means we have some ammo for when we go to the divide. So anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Very happy in your ways of peeping, aren't you?